celebration honors Dr. King's legacy of peace and service and the need to carry on the fight for equal rights. And we know that it is not over. We have to continue to dream. We have to continue to dream bigger. At Union Temple in Brooklyn, volunteers packed care kits for low-income New Yorkers with everything from cleaning to baby supplies. Hundreds of volunteers at the JCC in Harlem put together food packets for the community kitchen and food pantry of West Harlem. They're also learning more about Dr. King, breaking up into groups to study a speech he gave at New York's Riverside Church in 1967, exactly one year before he was assassinated. Ruth Messenger, former Manhattan Borough president, attended that speech and also marched on Washington in 1963. It was extraordinary, amazing assemblage of people. I brought my two really little children. It was really powerful. Many other parents brought their children to volunteer, passing down Reverend King's messages of hope. It's service, it's, it's tolerance, it's compassion. And it's clear the lessons are being learned as the youngest volunteers talked about New Yorkers in need. They need a real home, they need somewhere to sleep. Amaya Mahoney is just seven years old. And she and her friend Cooper had a lot to share about Dr. King. A long time ago, he um, both people didn't um, want p um, black paper in their country, so Dr. Luther King Jr. had to fix it when he grew up. He teaches me to be kind and respectful. A lesson Martin Luther King Jr. continues to teach. Cindy Shue, CBS Two News.